Hello there. So today we are going to be putting our insulation in our floor. And right now I'm about to make a banana chocolate hazelnut extract smoothie. I'm going to try it out, see what it's like, because, you know, we're trying to keep the fat intake low, but hazelnuts taste really good. Um, so I'm going to try to see how that works out. Um, and then I guess I'll take some pictures and show you because I don't really have a good setup here to film what I'm doing, but basically I'm taking some frozen bananas right here, and I'm adding some cacao powder. We have some organic raw cacao powder, see right here. Um, and then we're using hazelnut extract, and that's pretty much gonna be it. And we're gonna blend it up in the Vitamix here. So here's my baby. I love this thing, it's amazing. I don't know if you can see, there you go. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to do today, um, and then we'll keep you posted on what we're going to do for the insulation. Um, we got some nails, we have some Gorilla Tape to tape the aluminum flashing on because that didn't really glue so well, so we're just going to tape the bottom just to make sure and maybe put a little bit more glue to just make sure that it's sealed so that it can help with um, insulation and help prevent the wind from going up through the house through the floor. So anyway, I guess I'll talk to you soon. <laughs> all right, so here's everything all blended up. Looks good, I don't know if you can see it. There you go, sort of. So now we're gonna eat it because it tastes really good. And I'm really, really excited. And then we're gonna do the insulation and go outside. So it's gonna be great. So the floor went on really well. and We lucked out with a nice sunny day. We glued on all the aluminum flashing with this eco-friendly glue called Echo Bond, and you can see us gluing the aluminum there to the floor. We had to cut the, the strips with the metal snips, and um, we pretty much laid it all down, layer by layer, all the way down the floor. Then we had to flip the whole frame over so that the aluminum was on the bottom, and then we actually measured out all the 5 8 inch plywood and cut all the pieces out in the right shape to fit on the floor before we insulated it. Then we put all the insulation in, which was Roxel R23. And there you can see we got all the insulation in. Then we simply nailed down the whole floor. And that is how it turned out. So we're pretty happy with it. Uh, we feel it's a pretty well insulated floor and um, we're ready to start building the frame on top.